kids protein shakes is the subject of today's food for thought good afternoon my name is Jodie Bunting and this is our food for thought our daily health tip to help you lose weight now today we're talking about these kids protein shakes i've been sent one uh, in the post a little sample from the abbott company uh, that do a lot of health products uh, and this one is for children aged between one and ten years so i've seen some of my facebook pay, uh, friends have actually liked this company so i think it's recommended to a lot of kids who uh, maybe can't eat or won't eat something like this so today we're going to talk about the ingredients uh, a little bit about adult nutrition as well uh, and obviously where this can fit into your lifestyle or your children's lifestyle as well. So first of all just for adults uh, remember eating real nutrients and for kids as well eating real nutrients is always the best way however I have a lot of slimmers that hate their greens no matter how they try and mix up their greens they absolutely hate them guys so if you are at that stage now where you've tried eating healthily and you just can't do it then this is where i would really recommend then getting all your nutrients in via a protein shake now this one in particular is designed for one to ten year olds um we're going to go through the ingredients, um, then I'm also going to go through, I'll go through the calories first. Now, surprisingly, what they're recommending is for a one to three year old, it's one serving per day. And for four to ten year olds, it's two servings per day. But check out the calories on this, guys. I was quite surprised by this. Uh, calories per portion are 226 mil. Uh, sorry, 26 calories per 225 mil, which I actually thought was quite high for a protein shake, especially uh, if it's a child's one. Now, we're going to go through the uh, ingredients on this. Um, the ingredients are not too good. The good news is with kids protein shakes, of course, there's no artificial sweeteners in there. It's got real sugar in, which is probably why it's so high in calories. Uh, but obviously, if your child is also trying to avoid sugar, uh, then this may not be the product for you. So the biggest ingredient is hydronated cornstarch. The second one is sulcrose. And the third one is vegetable oil. So you can see straight away, there's a lot of fat in this as well, guys. So again, for those of you who are maybe feeding your kids low fat foods, stop please stop feeding your kids low fat food so children especially the one to ten need fat guys to help them grow um so this just proves it the the two biggest ingredients in this is fat and then they've also had some sugar in there as well just to make it taste edible to be honest with you um it's also got some mct oil in which for those of you who don't know is uh, coconut oil uh, there's also in here some milk protein, some soy protein isolate, which is obviously the protein part, cocoa powder, uh, minerals, loads of different minerals that have been added into here, including calcium, magnesium. Um, let me just go down the list. There's loads of vitamins and minerals also added to this. Um, and then the final few ingredients are just some uh, natural colorings, including antioxidants as well. Okay, so that is uh, this company. Have you heard of it before, guys? It's called Pedia Shaw, and I have linked their UK Facebook page. Seem to be big in America, uh, but this is the first time. Uh, as always, I'm going to taste test it, guys. So what you have to do is, I'm hoping it's going to open. It doesn't seem to have a seal on it. Here we go. My cousin Kay is watching. Have you tried this with any of your kids before, Kay? I'm sure it could be recommended by the doctors if they're not eating or can't eat. So what you do is get 190 mils of um, water, cold water or room temperature, it says. Put your... Uh, powder in it smells really sweet and chocolatey that smells nice uh, and then it says to gently stir now as you know we're adults we, we make protein shakes so I'm using a protein shake 
Uh, for those of you just joining us, we are looking, well, today we are reviewing the Kids Chocolate Protein Shake. Chelsea's having a look. So yes, this, uh, how's Amelia, Chelsea, with her fruit and veg? Does she get it all in? Uh, when we were going through the ingredients, as I say, it's got a lot of fat in here. It's also got some protein in here as well. So even if you do feel like you eat enough uh, vitamins and minerals, but you're not eating enough protein, this is where a protein shake can really help you. And obviously, if you, as an adult, are having your protein shake and your kid has it at the same time, wow, that's really sweet. <laughs> Just lick the little bit there. Yeah, that's definitely sweet. It's definitely chocolatey. Was it Amazon, Charles? Yeah, I got one through the door. So it must have been El uh, Amazon posting them all through. I really like this, guys. Are you and Amelia going to be trying it, Charles? It actually tastes like um, Nesquik. <laughs> it really does taste like Nesquik. Quite thick as well. Uh, so as I said, this is Pedia Shaw, uh, and the link to their Facebook page uh, is on here. So if you have got children that maybe have got nutrition deficiencies or you're just worried about your children not eating enough fruit and veg or enough protein, that's another serious thing you should look at, uh, then I would recommend having something like this. And as I said, their Facebook page is linked. Right, thank you for joining us, guys. We'll see you again tomorrow for another Food for Thought. And remember, we will be doing a live workout tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Uh, Chelsea's saying, I've been getting her the kids Actimel for the immune system. Excellent. Right, guys, thank you for joining us. See you again tomorrow. Bye.